everybody, it's not Chuck and Conroy. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, no, I wasn't kidding. So, welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. In the last episode, we took care of this leap of faith and got the the dinosaur horn. In this episode, yes, I'm not I'm not going to be like Chuck and Conroy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get some more food, actually, because we really need some more. I have like five or six of them, so let's get some. This is like, yeah, the only place we can get some more. And I don't know how to get out of here. How do I get out of here? That's a tricky one. <laughs> I didn't like, did not see that. Again, I can't really see places in the dark. It's just like, wow. I didn't see that coming. Alrighty. So, once we got the uh, dinosaur horn, let's just head back to where we were at the last episode. Which is where we um, went up... I think went up here to get the last cog, if you all remember, and such. So let's do that. And here we are, back in the blizzard area. All right, this is it, survival of the fittest, right here. So let's no, pull out this one right here. Ah, oh, that's a weird call. Oh wow, like seriously, like whoa. Here comes our buddy from uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> Come to save the day in this weird blizzard. I'm not sure if it's the same one that we wrote earlier. It might have been. Like, where, where exactly did that other one come from? Seriously. Oh, well, I gotta stop saying seriously. Seriously. <laughs> See, I did it again. No matter how many times. Alright. So. Alright. We will need to feed him. Yes, yes, yes. We need to feed him some Alpine Roots as we go through, because we have a life meter. And if it goes down, then we're pretty much stuck. And, yeah, they give you plenty of time to get these Alpine Roots. And it's actually quite hard to see it dark. Where's Tricky going? What? <laughs> Where is he going? Just exactly. Alright. Well, wherever he's going, he's going to get lost, and we're going to have to find him again. This could lead to trouble, just like last time when we first found him. And, you know, that, kid, that boy needs to be on a leash, I believe. If they have leashes in Dinosaur Planet, that is. I'm not too sure. But I, I'm assuming that they don't, and it's pointless for them to have leashes, because they don't have a leash law, and there's probably no laws <laughs> in Dinosaur Planet, other than... General scales making laws and terrorizing the places and that sort of thing. But yeah, I could blab about that all along, but that's really what I think. <laughs> Anyways, we're pretty much at the end of our journey. Tricky? Tricky! Your friend will turn up. They usually do. Maybe I can help until he does. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure, they always turn out they usually do. <laughs> I don't think so, pal. How, how the hell could Tricky even get past this door that I'm about to ram over right now? Anyways, well, we can just get him off there. We don't need him anymore, he's kind of useless now. There we go. Alright, then. Let's get some, uh, I think... Yeah, might as well get some food. Don't need that. And... I think this is the part where we head start heading towards the mine areas. Oh god. Oh god. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. You know what? I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> it's like, I'll take some of that. Just for the loss of crystals. Oh, nice. We get another ride here. Only this time. That, um, if you notice, like, in the beginning of the, uh, where we had to feed the, uh, first Snowhorn Shrive good dude. This is the place where we got the last Alpine Root, and, yeah, this is pretty much all the same stuff. Eh, but, now we're gonna be heading towards the mine. And, oh god, I, I just, I can't see! <laughs> Am I blind or something? I just can't see. Oh my god. Dark places are killing me. And they're nice enough to give us gems. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, 
guys. This this whole place is pretty much straightforward. Like everything is just point out where you have to go. It's, like you don't even really need the maps to be honest, but if you want to. Oh god! Oh whoa whoa! Oh my god, I'm running for my life! Ah! Anyways, yeah, we could just use our shield here. Oh yeah. Oh what? Where did that come from? Take, get some of this. <laughs> I just love doing that. <laughs> so awesome. Alrighty then. This is really scary music. I, th I think this is just like torture music when I look at it. Because there's like, if I can find some. Oh, let me get some food. Ugh. Like, if you see right over there, there's a snow horn on, on. It's just. It's sad, really. I can hear Tricky from Ruha where who knows he is. I hear a shark claw. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my god, just just, just... Oh. damn it. What? Wow. Right as it <sighs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm just not gonna say it. <laughs> well. Alright. Now ugh, shut up, Tricky. I know what were you saying. So annoying. I'm not sure who's quite more annoying, Navi or Tricky. And I really have no... I really have no saying in that, but I don't know. I guess Tricky's kind of more annoying than Navi. Okay... Oh my god, Giant Boulder! Ah! Wait a minute, is this the place we need to go? Not sure. Just see if that is the right place. Oh yes. God, this really, this thing is really sensitive. I hate that. Oh, there we go. Because when I first played this, I like it took me a while for me to figure out what to do in this place. Oh well, another key. How great! How great! Yes, prison cell key. Just what I needed. Let's wait for these boulders. What? The Whoa! Where that cannon thing come from? Oh uh, well, grabbing something that I really don't need. It's really helpful. Oh god, a boulder! Whew. That was a close one. Close indeed. All right. Now. Oh my god, tricky! If you say that one more time, I'm not gonna help you out. Now we have to go back right I think right here. Yep. Alright, watch out for these spinning flames of doom. This is just madness. Oh frick! Oh what? What? Man, my joystick was just really sensitive right there. Wow. First time dying in this game. Oh my god. Luckily I didn't take any hard pieces out of these. <laughs> Now have you experienced me dying there? <laughs> never, it'll never happen again. I promise. <laughs> Anyways, we opened up our cell here. Alrighty, let's talk to him. Fox, I lost you in the blizzard. Some sharp claws found me and threw me in that stinky cell. Yeah, cause you're an idiot. An idiot for doing that. I can't believe you would do that to me, Tricky. After all of that we've been through for the past. Let's say a couple of a couple of episodes, whatnot. You just you need to stay, boy. Again, put on a leash, man. Like I'm telling you. All right. Get tricky over here and do his little flame, cause I can't do it. Sweet. Just for that, I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So we got another prison cell here. Just. Whoa, what am I saying? We got another prison key. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like morning, I can't talk. It's 9.35 actually when I'm recording this. Alright, sharp crawl. Crawl. Sharp crawl, prison cree. 
So close right there. Ow! I'm on fire! Ah! Let's pull out this key here. You know what? Uh let's see. If I pull this key out, there's gonna be a cutscene, and it's almost like time for me to say goodbye to this episode. So in the next episode we'll open this key up, or this sail up and we'll, fi we'll finally save Balinte. Till then I'll see you guys later. Peace.